Hi, I'm Niall Dillon, I'm Director of Construction for Intel here in Ireland. Hi, I'm uh, Fierke Mullet, I'm the Programme Manager for this uh, construction project here in Lakeslip. My name is Gavin Francis, I'm the Excite Project Director for the Blue Jay Project for Intel here in Ireland. So what we're doing here is we're constructing two fabs, what Intel call fabrication facilities. So it's two large manufacturing facilities uh, that will manufacture the leading edge semiconductors uh, for Intel. So this is the first time we've undertaken to build uh, two fabs uh, in one go. So it's unprecedented in Intel to, to, to build at this scale. So one of the challenges we had to overcome at the very, very outset was figuring out how to actually construct adjacent to a very sensitive live manufacturing facility. Uh, so lots of vibration sensitive uh, equipment. So the project team have done an immense amount of work in the planning, the early stages, to ensure that we maintain the existing manufacturing facility. To keep in context some of the accomplishments on this project, we have started with a mass excavation of over a million cubic metres of soil. We transferred into a construction build which pushed 600,000 cubic metres of concrete into the structures of this building. That encompassed 73, 75,000 metres of reinforcement bar. Add to that, we've got some 35,000 tonnes of prime structural steel, which have to be erected. In context, the pipework is some 79,000 metres of pipework. Our electrical cabling is over 9 million metres. So a lot of off-site manufacturing systems have been utilised. It was the first time we've ever used precast concrete on an Intel facility. We could fabricate the, the materials, the equipment and the modular system so that once we had the shell of the building in place, we then could proceed with the off-site manufacturing. So two very significant innovations. So it's the very first fab in Intel to use precast concrete, uh, very innovative. And we have the highest percentage of off-site uh, manufacturing ever achieved in Intel, around 35 to 40%. So we're incredibly proud of that. So to put that in context, over a five-year period, Intel Ireland will have invested the same amount as invested in the last 30 years in Ireland. Uh, at peak construction, as I mentioned, we'll be employing over 6,500 people. And with every one of those jobs that we have in construction, there's at least two to three spin-off jobs that support that construction effort. The strength of the project is in the unity of the people, right? We have lots of processes, we have lots of procedures, but Paper doesn't build projects, people build projects. Uh, our statistics from a, a right first time perspective are, are again something that we're really, really proud of. So that quality culture, again, is something that you see in our trade partners and you also see it within our, uh, within our general contractors and our design companies. Safety is a value for Intel, but what's most important for us is that everybody comes to site in the morning and leaves the site safe. You can't achieve schedule and or quality by doing it unsafe. You can't achieve safety by not applying the correct quality of the procedures and indeed doing it on time. So they're all related, all interlinked and all as important as the other. However, safety still has to stand above it from a value standpoint. We started off with sustainability in mind. We wanted to ensure that where we had to dig for foundations or where we had to dig for substructure had the minimum effect on the environment. As the director of this project for the site, I am immensely proud. We are in unparalleled territory in terms of size, scale and complexity of these works. It's an immense, immense challenge and the response by the people has been absolutely first class. To be involved in the largest construction project in the history of the Irish state, it gives me immense pride. Everybody gives 100% to the project uh, and we're enabling Intel's future and uh, as we're very proud to say, is the future is what we build.